So as we have implemented the home screen user interface, now is the time to implement the controller for our home screen, which is the home controller using which we can manage the stat as you know we are managing the stat using a text stat management so we will manage the stat of our this button that is the text which we want to display on it and later of course the time countdown, countdown timer when the VPN is connected so at that time we want to display the uh, time as well as we have to manage the stat of the location that is to which server the VPN is connected okay the connection is established and also the ping and also the download and upload speed we have to manage all these things using the get stat management so for that purpose we have to implement now the home controller so let's just go back let's close all these right click on live let's create new folder and I will simply give it name as all controllers right click on all controllers new dot file and this one will be controller home class controller home or you can call it home controller rx vpn which we will implement which is basically a model class which we will implement so let's quickly implement that right click on lib new directory and we will give it name as all models right click on all models create a new dot file and that is basically our VPN VPN underscore info which is basically the data about the host name IP ping speed and the country and the that is the longitude and the NPM uh, VPN sessions okay all these information so that's why we will give it a name VPN underscore info so we can say class VPN info. So define host name, IP, ping, speed, and then of course the country net long name, country short name, VPN session number, and best 64 open VPN configuration data. Define these attributes and then VPN info is inside the constructor of VPN info class model class you say required this dot host name this does IP this dot ping and this dot speed and then country long short VPN session norm and base 64 VPN info dot from JSON Now let me tell you one thing why we basically implement this model class now this name must be exactly the same okay let me quickly complete this then I will tell you and then comes the country long name short name VPN session num and bad 64 as it is a variable so it will it must start from small English alphabet okay which is the proper way of defining or initializing a variable so anyways the reason why we have implemented this model class is basically as you know 
the VPN connections we will get from the OpenVPN API. Now the data which is which first we will send a request to the Open API, Open VPN API, and when the request is sent, we will receive some response. Now the response data, if it is successful, then basically we will get some response and that response is in JSON format which contain information in hostname, IP, ping, speed, the country long, short, NPM VPN sessions and openvpn underscore config data underscore base 64. This information is coming all the way back as a response from that API, openvpn API. So that information we get from the JSON data and we assign it to the required variables which we define here in our this model class so that easily we can access it with the help of its variable anywhere when we need it in our project from this model class. For example hostname from the JSON data we, we can access using this hostname variable, JSON data IP we can access using this IP variable and JSON data ping uh, ping from the JSON data we can access using this ping variable, speed from the JSON data we can access using the speed variable. And as I told you, this data is coming all the way from the API as a response. Okay? And it has the same key names. For example, ho in hostname, H is capital and N is capital. The remaining ones are small. Do not give any other name. These are the key names which we are getting as a response from the API. Okay? So you have to give it same name. For example, IP is capital, ping P is capital, speed S is capital, country C and L is capital. So these same key names you have to use. Country short C is capital and S is capital and P and num VPN sessions N is capital, V is capital and S is capital. Okay? And then open VPN VPN is capital, O is capital, C is capital and B is capital, okay? And in between there is underscore, okay? In order to get the open v VPN config data, which is in base 64, okay? So all this we are getting as a response, okay? As you know, the response come from the API in JSON format. So from the JSON data, for example, we get this and we assign it to a variable. Or for example, we get the number VPN sessions from the JSON data and we assign it to their required a variable. Similarly, we get from the JSON data the country and we assign it to its variable and so on for the other one as well. And this thing which we write here, this is basically you can say or. That is, if we receive the host name successfully, then it's okay. Just get the host name and assign it to the host name variable. Let's say if the host name we do not get as a response, then just assign an empty string to it. Okay. Similarly here and similarly here also we define, for example, if the speed we, which is coming from the API as a response, if we get the speed of the network successfully, then assign that speed value to that speed variable. Otherwise, let's say if the speed is not coming successfully, then assign zero speed to the speed variable. So simple and so easy. Similarly, if the NP number of VPN sessions coming from the API as a response, if, if we get successfully the number of sessions, just assign it to this variable. Otherwise, if we are not getting it you know, successfully, then assign zero. Okay? If the, it is not coming, then simply assign zero to the variable. For example, same for the open VPN config data. If it is coming successfully, just assign that data to this variable. Otherwise, if it is not coming successfully, then assign an empty string to this. Okay? And this is basically single quotes or you can write double quotes as well like this. Okay? It is just the string. You can either write it in single for uh, single quotes or double quotes. Okay, it is totally up to you. For example, host name is in double quotes. If you want, you can write single quotes like this. So it is the string. Okay, either you write it in a single quotes or in a double quotes. Okay. So, anyways, this is the data which is coming from the API which is in JSON format and we get it from the JSON and assign it to their required variables.
so that later when we need it in our project we can access it directly using these variable names okay which is inside this VPN info model class of course so anyways then after it if you want to kind of send back or to convert data to JSON for that also let's define map string dynamic to JSON now here you can say we get the data from the JSON and assign it to the required uh, variables okay here we are basically getting the data that is we are converting or you can say assigning the values from variables to our JSON that is the uh, opposite of this thing okay as you can see this is to JSON and this is from JSON okay from JSON to JSON now so it is simple what we can do we can simply say final let's give it name as JSON data string dynamic so here we will use from the variables for example from the the host name we will assign to JSON data host name and the same key name we will use okay so similarly for the IP ping speed and then for the country country long country short and number of VPN session and open VPN config data base 64 and then we will return the JSON data so this is all about our VPN info model class and let me tell you again make sure to use the same key names okay which you see here as it is the data which is coming from the API okay using the same key names